Welcome to the Elite Training video. In this video, we will illustrate how to replace your AP3000 with an AP4000 radio. First, let's remove your existing AP3000. Don't forget to disconnect the USB or serial ports and power cable. Now with your AP4000 kit, we're going to present it onto the instrument panel. Be sure to cover the hole where the existing AP3000 was with the left lip. Then simply mark all four holes. Now with all four holes marked, we can go ahead and drill top two and then the bottom two. These will be secured with bolts and nuts. Be sure to plug in all your USB cables. Then these will go onto a hub. There are eight total radio pieces. Now moving on to the software portion. Drivers install. All we need to do is put in that DVD and follow several steps. In this case, the license agreement. Second thing we're going to select here is the actual USB. So we're going to go ahead and press the USB selection, which is the second one down. That will make Elite have the ability to talk to any USB components. In this case, for your AP4000. If you have any add-ons, select those as well. Just press next and we'll get the software installed. All the defaults are usually used for RC1 owners anyways. Well, now all the software is installed. We'll go ahead and give this a try. After a short reboot, we are ready to go flying. Power up that console, launch your Elite software, take it off a of freeze, don't forget that parking brake. Now your RC1 is equipped with a Garmin 430 with an audio selector panel and a digital vertical speed selector. And this concludes this training video. Thank you for watching.